to surprise maybe like in in january early so um be interesting to see all right joining us right now from amarillo texas where the frisco rough riders are playing the amarillo sod poodles or whatever that thing is out there the, <laughs> <laughs> uh is texas ranger left-handed pitcher cole reagans and what a year for cole coming back uh obviously comeback player of the year we talked about that uh cole welcome to the show thank you all for having me yeah so do you know what a, do you know what a sod poodle is so i have no idea what a sod poodle is um golly i think i looked it up the other day and, and i already can't remember but it's it's a, it's a prairie dog yeah that's what it is that's right a prairie dog oh uh. That makes sense because every time on the on the scoreboard, I always see the prairie dog, but I never put two and two together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start telling my kids that hey, it's that's not a prairie dog, it's a sod poodle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, you guys are right in the thick of it here. Yeah, it's everything. I've, us and Arkansas and Northwest are all right on top of each other it's going to come down to i feel like the last game of the week yeah which is the last game of the season right i mean that yeah yeah so yeah. can you believe it's already over no honestly it, it's like you looking back i've had days or weeks where it's like dang i feel like i've been in this city for for a month but like looking over, back over the whole season it's flown by like I feel like yesterday we were breaking spring training. Yeah, um, and and you know you started in Hickory, obviously. Um, first time you pitched in four years. And, you know, yeah, and uh, did did well. Went to the Futures game, then then got to Frisco. So, kind of talk about when you came back initially there in Hickory. Maybe it took you a couple starts to to get used to the all the baseball stuff, but you found a rhythm. It looks like. Yeah, I mean, my so my first start back, actually the first pitch I threw in a real game that meant something back, got it was a home run. <laughs> Very first pitch I threw, oppo bomb. First start back, first pitch of the game, see ya. I was well, like, oh, my gosh. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, I was like, holy cow. But, no, I mean, it's <clears> – I've – try to tell myself to just kind of, you know, take it like when I was in Hickory, take it day by day, like enjoy that to enjoy the fact that I'm actually getting to play baseball again. I'm not sitting in Arizona rehabbing my elbow and that kind of stuff. Like I'm actually getting to play and have fun and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, futures game. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that was very unexpected for you. Oh, very. I, I, probably one of the most unexpected things that's ever happened to me like I wasn't even I didn't even know there was a first I didn't even know there was a futures game going on this year mm -hmm. like I I didn't hadn't heard anything about it had no one really had talked about it on the team so it was just like and then I got called into the office one day and I thought it was I didn't know what was going on <laughs> and um they we called uh Kami Keith Comstock who's the rehab um, like on field rehab guy. And he told me over the phone and I was just like, Holy moly. I called my wife, told her, and I was just like, that's the most, uh, one of the most unexpected things that's ever happened. Um, uh, and then, uh, so you, now you're in Frisco with Frisco. Uh, yeah. what, what would have, would have been the differences between high A and, and double A? Um, double A I'd say the hitters make you pay for your mistakes a lot more often than high a okay like you hang a curveball here i've done it twice in my past two outings and it's gotten hit pretty hard um where sometimes you might get away with that and and high a, but here most of the time it, they're they're ready for the mistake um i mean it, the guys here are a lot more i feel like they go up there there's a lot more guys that go up to the plate with a, a plan in mind. Like, Hey, I'm going to look for this, or I know he's got this and I know he doesn't throw it in the zone very much, or they have really good eyes, really good approaches like that kind of thing. Okay. So, I mean, this has been a good challenge. Yeah. hundred percent. All right. Uh, how, how are you feeling at this point? I mean, you know, we, we haven't gotten into the, your injury history here, but this is <laughs> 
isn't no, it? No, I mean, I feel good. I feel good. I mean, yeah. Go ahead. Obviously, I'm. This is the most innings I've thrown in my life. So, um, velo's a little down, but I mean, overall, my body, my body feels good. I mean, hopefully, get one more start in and then go from there. Okay, so the injury history two Tommy Johns, the first yeah. one. Yeah. The first one you're probably like, well, all right. And the second one you're probably like, oh, what the heck is this? So yeah. I mean, but the, the, I mean, the second one, I remember you telling me we were talking earlier this year, like you threw a pitch and you couldn't eat, you couldn't even get it to home play. Yeah, I literally I I couldn't I tried everything. I couldn't like I th- I threw six pitches and I literally I felt like I couldn't get any of them to home plate. Like it was just just I don't even know how to explain the pain that my that I felt like it was just like I I really I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> did well, you did you know again that it was the elbow? Did you know after you tried? Did you know that's what it was? Yeah, I had a pretty good idea. I didn't know how serious it was, but I knew it was something to do with my elbow. Yeah, and I, I also recall um, from that conversation we had. It was in May. Um, yeah basically keith comstock said you can quit or we can do this again yep exactly he said you can take it to the house or you can go through the whole process again and you chose wisely it seems (laughs) yeah no i don't i don't i'll never quit i mean it's injury is gonna have to put me out something like that but so there was never any thought of you know what i'm just i don't want to do this again yeah no good now, no. So, so Keith Comstock, obviously, I, I think you and you and Chris Cease probably know him better than anybody in the organization. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but you also, your first time went through rehab with Edinson Volquez. Mm-hmm. Uh, talk about that guy because he he'd had two Tommy Johns. Now, obviously, <laughs> years and years apart, but it seems like he might have been a, a pretty good good resource for you to. to He's awesome. He's treated everybody the same he didn't care if you had big league time or you you know were first second year in pro ball he did he didn't care he'd come up talk to you you know you could ask him questions he'd answer them like just super down to earth humble awesome guy like it was oh i i don't even know he was he was awesome like never, never came in in a bad mood. Like always outgoing, always in a good mood. It was, it was awesome to have him. I mean, I'm guessing the days you didn't want to be there, he kind of picked you up a little bit too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like the whole group, the rehab group. Like if someone's having a bad day, you kind of start cutting up and then get that person out of like their little funk and then go from there. Okay, but. So, so now that we're at the end of the season, you, you've made it through start to finish. Um, you're, you've caught the attention of, of a lot of the industry publications again and, and scouts and you're back on the prospect lists. I know you don't pay any attention to that, but do you feel like you're back? Yeah. I mean, first half of the season, I felt like that's the best I've, I've been ever. Like, I mean, Velo was good. I was figuring I started messing around with a slider that was helping me out, which obviously still throwing it, still helping me out a lot. Um feel like I mean, I feel like I came back better than I'd ever been. So what's next? So what's next? Get better. Figure out fine-tune things, breaking balls. I mean, mechanical little mechanical tweaks that'll help me you know use my legs a little more that kind of stuff are you are you headed to arizona after this or are they going to give you the give you some time off uh give me some time i'll go to arizona for a couple of days but that's it nothing like i'm not going to be in instructs or anything okay good i mean you've you've, you've spent enough time in surprise all right I mean, I, yeah yeah you could probably run for mayor if baseball doesn't work <laughs> yeah mayor surprise <laughs> Yeah. 20 something kid leading all those seniors around. I can see it now. Oh my gosh. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Well, that's good. Hey, um, one, one thing, John, that we also talked about back in May, this is a great conversation, by the way, it was, it was during uh, 
one of my daughter's soccer's soccer games. So oh yeah, there are whistles being blown in the background. <laughs> yeah. Wind was blowing. Yeah. It was ridiculous. But um, and I'm I'm very envious of this about Cole Reagans. He does not have a Twitter account. <laughs> so you can, you, you can you explain Cole why you got rid of Twitter? <laughs> so. I never like, like I, my account is still on Twitter. Like if you look up my name and stuff, but I deleted the whole app off of my phone because right. when I was going through rehab, all I did was sit there and scroll through Twitter and I'd just be like, see all the baseball stuff, see all the kids that, you know, were my age or younger drafted same year or whatever, making it to the big leagues. And then it just pissed me off and like <laughs> put me in, put me in a really bad mood and make me just like be all up in my head. And so I was like, you know, I, I can't do this to myself anymore. Like I got to delete Twitter, like stop looking at it because then I can live like, I don't know, what's the word? Like I won't have so much like going on in my head. Like I won't be thinking about it. I'll just be able to, I'll be able to go to the field, play baseball, like get better, like not have to be like, oh, this kid's making, I need to do this. Like, why am I not there? Why am I the one to get hurt? Like that kind of stuff yeah. just forget about that stuff like everything happens for a reason yeah i uh i mean that's basically like you, okay so you have an account but you don't pay any attention to it i wish I yeah no like i have i don't have the app on my phone or nothing i don't go oh, on twitter people tweet you you have no idea Good. yeah i have no idea i mean twitter's the downfall of society i mean it, oh my it, gosh it, if, if i didn't have to have it for work i wouldn't have it it's just <laughs> brutal and, and yeah so i commend you on your decision yeah, so uh, uh, is the wife with you in Amarillo, or does she? Yeah, or is she still in Florida? Oh, she travels with you. All right. She so she'll come to like certain certain road trips. Like it just kind of depends on what other girlfriends and wives are going on the road trip. Like they'll all try to like get together and be like, "Hey, we're all going to go on this road trip." That way, it's not just like one wife or two wives sitting there by themselves. It's a whole group of them that get to hang out throughout the day while all of us are at the field and stuff like that. Yeah, not a lot of. I I had family that used to live in Amarillo, so I'm I'm very familiar with Amarillo, and there's not a lot yeah. of to hang out. But yeah, no, they <laughs> like I don't I don't know. I guess they just kind of hang out around the hotel till the game, and then they'll all go to the game together and just a lot. Of, I guess I think this time there's like six or seven of them, something like that. Oh man, well it's the last so, trip. It's a big one. Yeah. So what now? Now is this a high school sweetheart that you married? Yeah, yeah. From it Tala- is. You're from Tallahassee, right? Yes, sir. So you know so- you, you're drafted by the Rangers in the first round. That's who you signed with. Was mm-hmm. let me ask you this: was was there any schools you were committed to? Were you going to Florida yeah, State? Yeah, I, so I was committed to FSU. Well, you really—I was wondering if it was Florida State. Yeah. It, yeah. Did any uh, other schools make you any offers? Um, I mean, <clears throat> not like I never. I went on one trip, like one whatever one recruiting trip official visit or one visit or whatever and it was to fsu they offered me i took like a week and i was like um i, I should have just told them the day that they offered me that i was going there because I, <laughs> I mean I, I already know that's where i wanted to go you grew up there yeah <clears throat> yeah like all my all my i think on my high school team when i committed we had there was four of us on my high school team committed to fsu once i committed wow so so, so you're an FSU fan? Yeah. Okay. I, I want to talk about the Jacksonville State game. Yeah, no, <laughs> football. Uh, uh, it must have felt like a third Tommy John. Good night. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's I, – I don't even – I checked it, and we were winning, and there was, like, a few minutes left, and then all of a sudden I, like, check it, like, ten minutes later, and I'm like, what in the world is going on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, how yeah, crazy <laughs> stuff but they should have hired dion I, w- I wish dion was their coach yeah that'd be cool that'd be yeah. he's doing pretty well what, what is he at, at jackson state yeah, yeah jackson yeah. state i think is where he's at yeah I mean, yeah probably be on probation, probably on probation. Quick, but hey it'd be <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey did you did you play any other sports in high school or were you just baseball no, not in high school. I played one year of football in middle school, and I got lit up one time pretty good, and I was like, this ain't for me. I'm done. <laughs> like, I'll finish this season, but I'm going to stick to baseball. I'm a lot better at it than I am football. And I mean, you're Yeah. Tall, you're a tall guy. You yeah, you're big. <laughs> well, a little bit. Yeah. No, it was 
one time I got blindsided and I was like, that did not feel good and I don't like it. All right. Yeah. Hey, get- uh, is, 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 have, you, have you have you had any interaction with Cole Hamels since that that day at spring training? Yeah, actually, he threw a he threw a bullpen in Frisco. Um, I don't know, like this a few weeks ago, yeah, or a month ago, or so. yeah, like three weeks ago or so before he signed that deal with the Dodgers. Yeah, and so he was like, they told us like, hey, he's going to be here at the, you know a certain time. Like you can show up early, and that way you can kind of watch him and t- talk to him. Like told the whole team that, and so I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to get there early and watch. So like he was like starting his warm up, and then um, Jeff, our pitching coach, like said something to him like, "Hey, do you remember Cole Reagans?" And he was like, "Yeah," and then shook my hand, and we like said a few words to each other, and then after he, I like let him, you know, finish go on about his stuff and yeah. finish his bullpen, and then a couple of us sat in the dugout, and he like came down and just kind of talked with us, like nothing specific, just kind of shoot the breeze with us. Yeah, I always like Cole. He, he, he was a good guy. And uh, right, what it was, so it was spring of 17, correct? Mm-hmm. When, you, when you guys, uh, I don't know, spent the morning together. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool deal. The Rangers did that for you. Yeah, it was awesome. Good. It was so, awesome. Uh, uh, a couple other things. One thing we talked about before this started, you're, you're a lot less hairy. Yeah. What, what, what Chopped happened, it all off. What happened to the locks, man? Um, I wasn't throwing to my liking, and so I couldn't go out there with a haircut like that and not throw good, so I had to go. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> legit. I could. I mean, yeah, so I just, your, it was time you, to chop it off. Did your wife like the long hair, I mean, honestly, or was she? So at, at first, when I got it cut the first time into a mullet, she was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, she knew I was going to get it cut into that. But I came back home and she was like, oh, my gosh. And then, like, she honestly liked it a lot. Like, she was kind of sad to see it go. Yeah. Because she was like, when we're, like, hanging out with friends and, like, she meets somebody new, then they're like, who's your husband? All she had, she was like, the guy with the mullet right there. (laughs) And then everyone would know. So, hey, I was. I proudly wore a mullet in high school. I'm the only one old enough than when that was actually in style. Now they're coming back. <laughs> so I was all for the mullet because I, yeah, I, was, I no. wore that look. I, I loved it. I loved it. I mean, I can, I can always grow it back. Yeah, but, so was it business in the front and party in the back. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I, I, I always wore a crew cut. I always wore it short. Flat top yeah. Well, that's how I've always, I had, a, I actually had a mullet when I was like, a baby like i had a really 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 good one and then obviously got into school cut it off i was always my from fourth grade to 12th grade the school i went to what like dress code like had to wear a belt shirt tucked in like clean cut can't touch your collar all that kind of stuff so never had long hair in high school so you rebelled you rebelled you went you went yeah like i'd grow it out in the summer and then i'd have to cut it so how, long, how long had it been since you'd cut your hair? I hadn't cut. Well, so I cut it into the mullet in like May of last year. Okay. And then let it grow, let the back grow all the way until spring training. It was really long in spring training. And I had to, they made me cut a couple inches off because it was like past my collar and stuff. Um, and so cut that off and it was still like decently long and then i let it go all the way until i cut it off the other day so i mean it basically been i guess a, a year and more than four a months somewhere like that wow it's all at work that's a commitment <laughs> right there it, it, been, it been a while all right all right well good uh john you got anything else for for our for our guest no, man, Cole, hey, we appreciate it. I know that, that you guys are, are vying for a playoff spot there. Uh, it, it's a pretty tight race right now between y'all, Northwest, uh, Arkansas, yeah. and who else? Yeah, Wichita's in first, and then us, Arkansas, and Northwest are all, like, right by each other, like within, like, half game right. of each other. Yeah, well, taking take, taking time to stop down and talk to us, that, that's a big thing. And, Cole, we're going to get you back on here. Maybe in the spring we'll see you there. But uh, we really appreciate you coming on. 
Yes, sir. Anytime. Thank you. All right. Thank y'all. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. All right, buddy. Take care. That's Cole Reagans, Texas Ranger left-hand well. pitcher Cole Reagans, joining us from Amarillo. Cole, we'll see you, sir.